In March of 2019, Fibo Aqua conducted a technical seminar during the VIV Aqua Show in Bangkok. We recorded my presentation, which was entitled A Practical Approach to Health Management of Aquatic Facilities, and turned this into an eight-chapter documentary on this topic. Each of the following chapters will be focusing on one important aspect of health management in the aquaculture industry. In this first chapter, I will address our goals, our overall strategy, and our professional approach as we conduct our technical visits to aquaculture facilities. Thank you everyone for attending and thank you my colleagues in Fibro Animal Health who are here with us. It's a pleasure to be here and especially to talk about health management of aquatic facilities. I am very proud to say that we have clients who've been working with us for over 25 years, relationships, personal relationships. It's about trust, it's about responsibility, it's about accountability, okay? Making sure we can really provide you with the best possible answers. We have introduced a very strong, very unique, highly experienced technical team in our global operations for Aqua. And these people come with a lot of experience, vaccination, health management, planning of aquatic operations, feed, nutrition. Again, I believe that you really need to master all these disciplines in order to provide our developing clientele worldwide with a good, comprehensive solution. When I say worldwide, we're sitting here in Southeast Asia, but we are operating in North America, Central America, Mexico, all the way through Latin America, this part of Southeast Asia, in the Mediterranean, and moving into China in the near future. So what is it we do once we arrive on a farm? We audit. Yes, we look at disease. Yes, we do histopath. We do bacteriology. We do microscopy. That is kind of the obvious. Okay, that is what is expected of health professionals. But we look at feed formulation. We look at the management. We look at the level, the quality, the expertise of the person who is managing your hatchery. Full support, not only in terms of the diagnostic process, we provide our clients with, with information about disease outbreaks, about understanding disease, new agents developing in the world, emerging disease, which is obviously a critical component of our professional life. We look at a very wide aspect of management of the farm. And that is part of really being able to provide a client with a very comprehensive approach, I would say, to health management. Our relationship, does not end at the end of the visit. It doesn't end even when this problem or that problem has been solved. And it's about communication, it's about relationships. So the real expertise, the real power, the real level of professionalism, which we want to achieve with you, our clients, is being able to project, being able to understand what may be happening in the farm next week or next month or in the coming winter or in the coming fall because so many of the disease organisms in which we are dealing with are temperature related, salinity related, seasonal. So we need to obtain that understanding again so we are not surprised, especially when it relates to morbidity or mortality on a farm of one of my clients. And this goes back to record keeping understanding what happened last year this time or during the last five years this time in order for you to anticipate what may be happening on the farm and what is it we need to do in terms of management, perhaps change our feeding regime, perhaps change the level of protein in our feed, perhaps aerate, provide more aerators to our, our farm because there was less oxygen last year, metaphylaxis, the need to vaccinate, immune stimulation, so many actions which we may decide on once we are able to analyze and project what may be happening on the farm. And then there are abiotic parameters which relate to environment. And some of these problems, this is a very short problem list, some of these problems can be recognized through understanding of history, through understanding of the observations out in the field, growth pathology, coming into the farm, holding on to the shrimp, holding on to the fish, going into the broodstock facility, asking your client to take out five or six or 16 fish so you are able to absorb. And you will be learning a whole lot about infectious agents and also abiotic parameters once you look at observations in the field. So this was touching on our technical team in our global operations for aqua.